entschuldigt. Hm. Welcome back to another episode of Eric's Camping Adventures. We're going to go on another search today looking for some beautiful places. We are up early again, taking in the vast expanse of the Colorado River Valley and the beautiful views of the mesas and the water in the valley. We are going to relocate our camp to Goose Island Campground just outside of Moab and right next to Arches National Park. It's just a 30 minute drive as shown on Google Maps and we're going to head down just a little bit closer to the ruckus. The solitude of these vast open spaces was a little bit deceptive as we got closer to Goose Island Campground. We realized that just as we had chosen Moab instead of Arizona, that many people were fleeing from Arizona from the very high temperatures uh, to find a place in Moab just like we were on our vacation. And there was not enough infrastructure for recreational campers like ourselves and those who had embraced uh, the van life. This really was a beautiful drive following the course of the Colorado River. And we arrived at Goose Island Campground just at the right moment to find an empty place because almost immediately afterwards, it became a flurry of traffic. People mistaking us setting up as leaving with constant questions, constantly checking out our camp uh, post to see when we had arrived and when we were leaving. We even had a gentleman approach us and ask us, to leave our site because it was his birthday and he wanted us to leave. And it was just a little bit questionable as to, for a peaceful place for recreational campers, there simply was not infrastructures for both recreational campers and van lifers attempting to take advantage of living in their van in a campsite. One gentleman became very upset driving his ambulance, peeled out of the campground. Um, another one um, was a lady who, again, mistook us for taking down our campsite when we were setting up. Um, she was very anxious and driving a long fifth wheel just as fast as she could between sites she thought she was open and stopping again. They actually had speed bumps in the campground because of probably some of this uh, behavior that had been maybe long-term in the area. We really did get a beautiful spot along the Colorado River, but we decided to avoid all of the campsite solicitors that were coming up to our campsite to just do something different. Right over there across the river is Arches National Park, and I'm getting ready to uh, change out my inner tube here on my mountain bike. It has a slow leak in it, and I'm afraid that if I uh, go out riding on it, there's a nice bike trail that runs from here down into arches and I'm afraid that uh, it'll leak a little bit more when I'm riding. I'm 
only thing I don't want to do is get a stone on my new inner tube that will wear a hole into it from the inside of the tire. Nice little tip, it's for uh, Presta or for Schrader. So I can just switch it around. I put my bike tire back on and did some simple checks on the bikes. Michelle was getting some lunch ready. We didn't plan on any high intensity biking, so we knew we could eat some lunch before we took off. fortunate thing of riding on this bike trail right after lunch was that we were actually riding downstream or downhill into the wind, which meant when we came back up, we were going to have the wind at our backs and it was going to be an easy ride uphill. to these behemoth rock formations really gave us some perspective on how we fit into this terrain. All Trails doesn't list this bike path officially, but there is a dotted line along the river. We decided to take the bridge over the Colorado River. We just took in the scenery over the water and the rock face right there is actually Arches National Park. We decided once we got across the river to take a dirt path to the north just to take in the natural setting. Came to the end of that path and turned around and headed back onto the official path to head over to Arches National Park. All Trails doesn't show this dirt path. Gaia doesn't show this dirt path. Maybe we weren't supposed to be back in here. I don't know, but it was beautiful among the rocks. Maybe just a touch more beautiful without the pavement. That's hilarious. the end of the dirt path we just turned around we didn't think we should be riding on this grass we figured it was probably hard enough for it to grow
Next, we headed down the official trail towards Arches National Park into just a small valley with some petroglyphs. The berm widened as we got close to Arches National Park and we found a trail off to the side and we just wandered in. We found the sign for the uh, petroglyphs, but maybe it was the light, maybe it wasn't possible to see with the naked eye, but uh, there were supposed to be petroglyphs up on this uh, rock wall. We couldn't see anything. We descended from the overlook back down into the valley or the canyon and we just walked along this creek for just a little bit. I'm not thinking that this fence has been moved. Okay. We got back on the berm, then back on the trail. We decided to go down into Moab for a short little trip. Uh, we just pulled up to the edge of it so that we could say that we had looked into the sacred Moab. We'll go in there uh, later this afternoon, not on this video, and stop by a couple novelty shops, grab a ice cream cone, and, uh, and then head back to our campsite. But I'm not gonna show that on the video here. Uh, we're just gonna enjoy the outdoors. came back across that bridge and we headed down under um, another bridge and this is actually 191 it is the same road that will run you to Grand Teton through Yellowstone and will get you a good portion of the way to Glacier here we go we're coming up on the city limits of Moab <laughs> I won't bore you with long clips traveling back uphill towards uh, Goose Island campground. Know that with the wind at our backs going to the northeast, it was an easy pedal. We just took in the scenery and enjoyed the ride, even though it was uphill. The wind was pushing good. When we got back to Goose Island campground, we just checked in with each other and we just kept moving because the wind was so strong and the ride so pleasant. We just kept on going right down to the end of the trail. You can see how busy the traffic is. That's why we didn't go off the protected trail with our bikes. I can only imagine what this is going to be like during peak season. It was busy now. It actually was a little bit wild right now.
hopping on your bike with your best friend and just going exploring all over the place with no schedule, no time frame, is a good time. If that's not gonna make you feel like a kid again, I don't know what will. One of the nicest features about the Goose Island campground is that bluff cuts the sun in the late afternoon. And while you're cooking your dinner by the hot stove, the heat of the sun is no longer there. So this was very pleasant. wife has put me to work browning some Italian sausage. She is mixing some crushed tomatoes, some garlic, and other spices into a pizza sauce. There is olive oil and some corn meal on the cast iron skillet to keep it from sticking. And the dough is rising on the picnic table, getting ready for uh, some delicious pizza. How many are you making? I have two because I, what happens if one burns? <laughs> hmm. Right? You could pick off the crusted part. I am trying to narrate this video, but as I'm watching, my mouth is just watering. I considered speeding up the video to make this go faster, but there are just some things that you don't speed up. My only contribution to the cooking portion of this video was the browned Italian sausage. Well, maybe the exercise. We definitely have to exercise before we eat a meal like this while we're camping. My wife is very creative when she comes up with meals while we're camping. This is gonna be fabulous. Try one of those peppers. What? Are you recording both of us? You made two of these? Hmm. We did enjoy a quiet dinner in the shade of that bluff. There's a bullet on the bottom. Mm. 
We definitely enjoyed more pizza than was necessary, and I think it would be an understatement to say that movement was not necessary after dinner. <laughs> we, uh, we had a good evening in the shade of that bluff. It cooled off. We pulled our chairs to the bank of the Colorado River. Later, we moved them underneath the canopy as it cooled off and lit the uh, propane fire pit. The canopy reflected the heat back down, and we just sat there and read and took in the evening. Sleep came easy in the cool night. That's a good thing here because you do not want to miss the next sunrise, ever. Waking up to the beauty of the sunrise and the light casting its morning hues on the huge colorful rocks was very impressive. Goose Island is a beautiful place. I can see why everyone was rushing for a spot there. If you come back next time, I'll show you something else impressive and that is a hike back into Grand Staff Canyon and we will take in the arch at the back of the canyon. Come back. <laughs>